Hello guys, good morning. Today is uh, Sunday, the 1st of June 2014. Uh, today uh, I will continue my, <coughs> my lessons on how to spot the resistor line and the support line. Now this is a chart of an industry called oil and gas pipelines. It's in energy sector. Okay. So you see this a chart here and you, you want to make uh, the resistance line and support line where they are. Okay. So you see here at the beginning, there is a trending into a range and then you see that the stock or this industry is going up. Okay. It's going up. Suppose that you, you just find it at that time here. Okay. Forget about all this that you see because we, we are just showing you how to uh, spot it and how to follow it. Now, since this, the price has gone up and you are following and after a few days it goes down. So what you should do, you try to see the highest of the day that it, it, the, this uh, industry goes and this is the highest here. Okay, see we are, we are just here. So it goes days, days, weeks, weeks, days until you find here. Okay, so you take the horizontal line and you put one here. Okay. I always make the uh, resistance line with the blue blue line at least you can see it okay this is the highest of the day here okay I can make a horizontal line to show you where I am at least you will have a, a, a vertical line I'm here okay this is where I am this is why I discovered this industry that this industry is going up that's why if I find a way to enter I can make money okay now after a few days this industry go down go down go down go down and after that it goes up so I have what I have the lowest of this industry which is here so you do the lowest here which is the low of that day okay so you put it in red at least you you will see where is the support line so this is the resistor line this is the support line okay and you will see that afterwards after this the industry doesn't go down that's why we say support it means it doesn't go through this line and it goes up again but it doesn't it didn't reach the support the resistance line the blue one okay so here we call it trending into a range okay you see here go up go down go up go down go up go down and go up now you see here all this candlestick here they don't go through it if they go through it what does it mean it means the industry is heading down it means they are losing uh business okay and they are losing the price it means you can short it afterwards now after staying in uh, five or six weeks like this changing into a range and then one day you see something spectacular happens what is it this candlestick if you want to buy you should buy in this one not here not here not here you can buy here but it is the same okay so it's it's not for let's say when you buy like here it's like it's for like 50 50 but here you the chance of making a good trade is more so here you can have like 70 percent or 80 percent now it goes up for two days or three days and then it go down okay for two days so what you should do you should change this support line uh resistance line and you put it here because this is the highest right now and you change the support line here so what was the resistance becomes the support and 
what was the resistance goes here okay so there is a change so you see how do I change the lines now these two lines guides me on how to trade okay and then it goes down and then it goes up so I put a support line and then it turned it into a range for many days and then it goes up again okay so you change here this is a line the support line okay it goes up it stops it goes down so this is the resistance line and then it goes up and up and up and then it goes down so you changed the resistance line here the support line here now it's traded into a range if it goes here up it means that this index is going up and you can make some money okay so do you understand now how do you change the, the resistance support line but in order to search for stocks li like like the same chart and something you should have other characteristics of the stocks that you are searching not anyone can do the thing okay not any support line or uh, support line or resistance line you can make money from it there are some that you can never make money from it why because they go like a zigzag Okay, let's uh, check this something. Okay. Sometimes it's volatile like this. Volatile. You see this one was very, very good. Excellent. Okay. see this one if you have cut this one you will have too much money right now so this is the highest here it goes down support line and then it goes up now this is one of the best it means you can you can stay too long and you can make too much money now the highest is here you can change it here the highest you this, this is the line this is the support line and then you wait you wait you wait until you see this it goes above it and you buy and you wait it goes up again and it goes down now you see you tell me for example why the stock goes up and down up and down this is because people are some people who have uh, stayed few days like uh, um, swing traders they sell here okay they buy too much like they buy too much shares like they buy too many shares it's not uh, some people they don't buy 100 to 200 they can buy 5,000 10,000 shares if, the, if he stays many days like five days he can make too much money and he just exit okay he doesn't want to stay uh, the downside and the upside because if, if it goes downside you will never know where it will stop this is here you see the past but when you you were here you don't know here where it goes it can go down and down and down and you lose too much money so you should exit with a stop loss always. Thank you very much and have a nice day.